What's up, YouTubers? In today's video, we're going to be talking about possible solutions to uh, notification problems that sometimes some Android users have. And that problem is when app notifications and text notifications sometimes don't sound like they're supposed to. One of the easiest solutions to the problem is if you go into your phone settings menu and you go down to sound, you want to make sure that your sound profile isn't on silent. If you go to sound profile here, or actually let's go back, look at sound profile. You want to make sure that the sound profile is on sound and not on vibrant only or silent. Sometimes um, when manipulating the volume of the phone, we might accidentally put the phone in vibrant or silent mode without realizing it. So you want to make sure that it, the sound mode is on. Um, also, go to your volumes. Uh, you have, you'll usually have volumes for your ringtone, notifications, touch feedback system, and volumes for music, games, and other media. Uh, for notifications, you want to make sure that the volume isn't all the way down. You want to make sure to turn it up a little bit and see if that fixes your problem. Now, if that doesn't fix your problem, there might be another issue here. And to do that, we're going to go back into menu and we're going to go into apps. Um, depending on how your menu layout is for your particular Android device, it's going to show up as applications. So you want to tap on that. Now you want to scroll all the way over. Swipe. So you get to the all column. This is going to show you all the apps that you have on your phone. Scroll all the way down. Okay, and perhaps we use this scroll slider here until you see an app called Messaging. This app right here. So you want to tap that. You want to make sure that Show Notifications, this box right here is always checked. If it's not checked, then you won't get any notifications for messages. So you want to make sure that this is checked. Uh, checked. Uh, if it's checked and you're still not getting uh, notifications for text messages, tap to uncheck it and then tap to check it again and then see if that fixes your problem. Okay. Uh, if another possible solution, and this one might not be so clear, sometimes installing an SD card with music files and whatnot might cause errors in the notification app itself. So another solution for you is especially if, let's say for example, you noticed that the text and app notifications stopped working properly soon after you installed an SD card, um, remove that SD card, see if the app notifications turn back on and reinsert it. If the notifications turn back on and work properly, then you know that the SD card was your main culprit. So try reformatting that SD card um, either in the phone or in the PC and see if that works. And if after all of that, your app notifications aren't still aren't working, SMS and whatnot, um, try rebooting your phone, taking out the battery if possible, and leaving the phone off for about a minute or two and see if that fixes your problem. Um, if after that, it still doesn't fix your problem, um, it looks like you may have to do a factory reset of your phone. Um, basically erasing all the user data and whatnot, um, resetting the interface, and that usually is going to fix your problem. Um, to do that, usually what you can do is you go into your phone settings. And you're going to see an option that says backup and reset. Okay, you're able, you can also back up your app data and passwords and Google settings. Um, that way, when you do a factory reset, you can restore all the apps 
and some of the settings that you have in your phone and just tap on factory data reset. And then hopefully that fixes that little annoying issue. Hopefully this video helped you solve any kind of notification issues you may have with your Android device. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.